So how do we effectively deal with stress? How do we avoid getting to the stage of exhaustion and experience the negative consequences that are associated with long-term stress? Behavioural responses to stress are an individual's active efforts to master, reduce or tolerate the demands created by stress. Here's a list of the different behaviours someone might engage in to cope with stress. Some of these behaviours are adaptive, while others are maladaptive. Let's take a look at this list and try to decide which ones are adaptive and which ones are maladaptive. Is blaming oneself adaptive or maladaptive? It's definitely maladaptive. Now the important question here is, why is giving up on something and blaming oneself maladaptive? Why is doing badly in something and saying to yourself, oh, I'm terrible at this, maladaptive? Well, this is maladaptive because it means that the next time it's likely you're not going to do any better because you accepted the setback and blamed yourself. It's likely that you won't do anything different and so you'll make the same mistakes the next time. As a result, it's likely you experience more stress. Therefore, giving up on something and blaming oneself is maladaptive. What about striking out at others? Sometimes this is called catharsis. For example, you've had a bad day at university or work. You go home and you yell at whoever is at home at the time. Maybe you lash out at them and you actually hit them. They haven't done anything wrong. You just sort of snap at them. People sometimes think catharsis is a good way to deal with anger. Is it a good way to deal with stress? Should you just let it out rather than bottling it all up? Snapping at someone will probably make this other person feel stressed. It's likely to damage your interpersonal relationship with this other person and it can actually bring about more stress, particularly if you punch someone. There are a whole bunch of consequences for punching people that can produce more stress. So lashing out at others doesn't seem to reduce stress. It's not a very adaptive way to deal with stress. What about indulging oneself? For example, you get to the end of the exam period. You've been super stressed, so you decide, do you know what, I deserve a treat. So you do something to indulge yourself. Maybe eat a lot of cupcakes or go and buy that big TV that you didn't think you could afford before. But what the heck, you think to yourself, life has been really stressful so I should just buy a big TV and that's gonna make things better. Maybe, rather than buying a big TV or eating cupcakes, you decide to go to the pub and drink a whole bunch of beer or smoke a whole bunch of cigarettes. Is indulging yourself a good way to deal with stress? Is it adaptive? No, not really. It's fun, but the problem is, if you overeat or drink too much beer or smoke a bunch of cigarettes, then you'll have health-related consequences to deal with afterwards. Drinking excessively can produce a whole range of health problems and so can smoking cigarettes. Buying that big TV, thinking you should just reward yourself, isn't going to make you unhealthy necessarily. The problem with that is that you didn't buy it before because it was too expensive. However, when you're stressed, your impulse control is impaired. And so you buy the TV even though you still can't afford it. As a result, you end up with the financial stress of paying back the credit card to pay for the TV. Therefore, indulging yourself can lead to a range of additional stresses that actually increase stress rather than decrease it. What about defensive coping? This is my cat, Bob. He's hiding from the kids and engaging in some defensive coping. What that means is he's pretending as though whatever is stressing him doesn't exist. So shielding himself from the strong negative reactions associated with the stressor. Is that adaptive or maladaptive? This is actually a tricky one because sometimes it's adaptive and sometimes it's maladaptive. It's maladaptive if this is the only way for you to cope. Part of the reason for that is that by shielding yourself from the negative reactions to stress, you miss opportunities for actually dealing with the stressor. However, it can be positive if it's done in the context of another type of coping, such as constructive coping.